Okay, this is test three, sample test review. We'll start with uh, 1A. For this question, you're gonna be provided a polar grid uh, like this one, and they're gonna give you a point to plot, and then you wanna find an equivalent point, and these are the same three things that you would see uh, on the actual test. We have these different conditions. All your answers for A, B, and C should allow you to draw the same and get to the same place on the grid. So you can always do that to check your answer once we plot this original one. Our answers for these should allow us to get to the same spot when we plot that on the polar grid. So let's start with uh, negative 2, negative 2, 10. Let's plot that one. Now if you're going to be doing a negative angle, negative angles go around uh, this way, so they go around uh, clockwise. Uh, if you'd like, if you prefer to work with a positive angle, you could add 360 to that if you wanted to. Uh, and if you were to do that, uh, it would take you to this line right here at 150. So at this spot, this is where you want to uh, put that on that graph that's on there that's provided in this on the sample. So if you go around this way or that way, uh, you arrive at the same spot. So negative 210, it'll take you to to there on the 150 line. Now I'm using a dotted line here because the R value is negative. So whenever you have a negative R value, whatever angle you have here, you're always gonna make a dotted line. And then you wanna reverse it in the opposite direction, so 180 degrees in the other direction. And then on that line, you're basically gonna count out two and uh, it's gonna end up right there. So this line uh, that's indicated on there is the 330 degree uh, line is where it's going to end up at. So your point should be in the uh, fourth quadrant. So we, we did negative 210 to here, that made that a dotted line, reverse it 180 degrees in the opposite direction, and then from there we just counted out two rings 330 degrees. So that's the first part, they want you to uh, plot that one. Next, we want to find equivalent points here. So, uh, the way this works is that if you are changing the sign of the R, make an R positive or negative, that means that you're going to add or subtract 180. If you don't want to change the sign of the R and keep it the same, then you're adding or subtracting 360. Okay, so in this case, they want R to be greater than zero. Well, the original R in the problem is negative. So I want to change the R into a positive two from a negative two. Because I'm changing the sign of the R, making it positive, that means I need to choose to either add or subtract 180 to the 210 degrees here, negative 210. So I start with negative 210, and then whether you add or subtract depends on what you want that angle to end up as. You want a negative angle between negative 360 and zero, which means that if I were to add Three, uh, 180 to it, that would work. If I subtracted 180, then I'd be less than negative 360 degrees. So instead, I'm going to choose to add 180 degrees there. So again, I'm using 180 because I'm changing this from a negative R to a positive R. And then I just need to simplify that. So negative 210 uh, plus 180, you're going to get negative 30 degrees. Does it make sense with our drawing? Yes, it would, because from here, we're gonna go negative 30 degrees and count out two. You're gonna arrive at exactly the same spot. So that's the correct answer for A, two comma negative 30. Next, we're going to uh, find an equivalent point where the R now has to remain as a negative. Well, it already is negative there, which means that I can just put negative two uh, down, keep it as it is. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, if you're not changing the sign of the R, so R was negative, we're going to keep R negative, that means you have to either add or subtract 360. Your choice depends on what your ending angle has to be. So we're starting with 210 degrees. I can either add or subtract 360, but I definitely want to add 360 because I want that to turn into a positive angle, an angle between 0 and 360. Okay, so we're going to add that together. 360, uh, 210, and that's going to give us 150 degrees. And that makes sense because if you go around this way to 150 and then reverse it, you're still going to arrive at the same spot. So we just 
Instead of going this way to get to that, we actually just went the other way instead. So that would be your answer, negative 2 and 150. Next, the r has to be greater than 0. And so this time we have to change the sign of the r from negative into positive. When we do that, we have to add or subtract 180 because we're changing it from a negative into a positive. So first step we're going to do uh, is take negative 210 and we're going to add 180 degrees to it like we did in the first step and we know that we're going to get 2 comma negative 30 for that. So the first step is exactly the same actually as what we did uh, in A. Now the second step we have to do, this is still not the right answer because the angle has to be between 360 and 720. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the R the same, we're going to keep it as 2 and then we're going to take negative 30 and we're going to add a 360 to it. Okay. Now, if I add 360 to negative 30, that's actually not going to be enough. It's still going to be at 330. So I'm actually going to have to add another revolution to that as well. I've got to add two of them, two revolutions. Again, the reason why is because I want the angle to be between 360 and 720. So as long as you're not changing the sign of the R, you can just keep adding as many 360s as you want because you're just going around the circle. If we go here and go around and around and around, we're still going to arrive at the same spot. So I can add as many 360s as I want to get it to equal whatever the, the condition is for the angle. Now when I do that, I get 2 and I get 720 minus 30, which means I'm going to get 690. Uh, as the answer, and so this is what I would put as my final answer for C. Uh, so my answer for C is 2 comma 690, and that answers this question. If I were to, to see if that works, negative 30 I would go to here, go around once, go around twice, that would take me to 690 degrees, that would be the same, arrive at the same spot, which means it's equivalent to the original point we had.